All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a guide for how to do your build, how to do progression in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. The question I get a lot from chat. I'm just going to go through it because like I've we've had to explain it like a bunch of times. See, the initial progression is, of course, you level your masteries. So don't worry about any of this, by the way. None of this matters until all of this is complete. So you want your, your offense and your defense here and your masteries complete. Uh, your your level actually doesn't matter that much. There's a lot of people that say like, oh, like you got to be like certain level uh, before you really start to tackle the hard content. Your lo level actually matters a lot less than your actual gear. So make sure that these are out first because these are really important and you get these through the mastery points. Uh, also make sure you fill out these as well. These are your weapon masteries and your over mastery. So these are like step one. So your first thing is uh, you want to hit damage cap with your sigils. That's the goal of Grand Blue Fantasy. What is the damage cap? Basically, every attack has an up, like an upper limit of the amount of damage it can do. And once you hit that, no matter how much more attack that you add, you actually won't be getting more damage. The best way to reach your original damage cap, so first thing you want to do is buy a crit weapon. The crit weapon is the best weapon. Like this, that's your early game, like level one. For each character, it's different. Like for EO, it's going to be Colossus Kane Omega is actually the... That's the one. And it's going to be the one that gives you crit. So as you can see, it says there critical hit rate and critical damage. Level 25 and 50 at max. So you're going to want to get that to 150. So once you have that at 150, you're in total, that's going to give you just, just the weapon is already 29% crit. So you're going to want to hit maximum crit. So you're going to have to get a uh, crit from all of your masteries. And then you're going to add in one crit sigil. So let's actually just like empty empty out let's like do like an actual build here on stream so your first thing is you want crit so we're just gonna add like a crit so you're gonna want uh you're gonna want one improved crit rate and that should get you to 90 and you can, as you can see my eo is at 97 percent crit so it's already you're basically capped on crit there so after that your damage cap and this is where it gets kind of sad because your build is a little bit it's like not really varied so let's go like six you're gonna need six of these damage caps in order to actually cap one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. You're gonna need six. And now you look at my damage cap level 66. It's actually capped at 65. So after that, you're gonna want your. So you got your one crit rate. You've got your damage caps. So as you can see, there's actually not that much left that you could add. And this, you can actually. Uh, I'll talk about it later about how you progress past this. So after that, you're gonna want a uh, damage modifier so that's gonna be uh you could run like life on the line if like you don't have healers healers you can just heal yourself you could run li life on the line you can run enmity but i mean enmity is kind of rough to get stamina is pretty safe especially if you have like a way to heal yourself so stamina is pretty good um or you could also run like charge attack or something like that after that it's defensive and utility so let's like add um let's just let's just add stamina so we add stamina there right Next, you're going to need to add like your utility. So your character might have uh, these sigils. So for EO, she's got uh, she's got Mage's Aspiration. So like I really want to add Mage's Aspiration, right? So I'm gonna add that because it's really just good for her character. You're gonna have to. It's gonna depend on your character. Some character their their character specific sigils suck, and for others they're really good. And you get these. Uh, you get the first one from the treasure trade shop from Sierra Cart, and the second one you get from the same place, but you get them from trading Dahlia badges, which are from doing daily quick, quick play runs. So I, I believe it's, I think it's seven. I think you need seven in order to get that. So let, so let's assume that for, we're just going to grab one here. That leaves you about three left. Oh, sorry. Crit damage. I forgot. You're going to want to add crit damage as well as one of them critical damage so that really leaves you only three so you have two left for utility uh ones i really recommend are uh potion hoarder potion hoarder is really strong um especially leveled and potion hoarder only takes one slot even better if you can get it comboed which we'll talk about later so potion hoarder just gives you free extra potions that's going to give you two extra greens, four extra blues, and four mega potions. So, and one plus one revival as well. So this is like all you need to heal. If you have this, you don't need any healing. You don't really need drain. You don't really need a healer on your team. 
you don't need healing abilities like this this is it this will cover almost all of your healing utility so you can run improved guard five which is really good improved guard increases your block value so that you can actually defend for longer and this is actually the easiest way to deal with end game content if like you're you're struggling with proud content this improved guard will help you drastically because a lot of mechanics you can just hold guard and it will carry you you can also run improved dodge if you're more into dodging improved dodge is going to give you extra dodge count so you're going to get a plus one extra dodge count and if you level it up you'll have enhanced dodging plus four extra dodges and i believe the enhanced dodging is um better dodge window gonna help you uh with your iframes over there if you want to know more about how to survive some tips and tricks i'll be doing another video about there you go that's like your initial grid your initial starting gear um after that like what do you do after this so you're gonna start to get combos like after you you start to do more proud missions you're gonna get five you're gonna get ones that are called five plus and those five plus that question for chat how about skill cooldowns uh how about skill cooldown skill cooldown is also really good uh hanukkah from chat asks how about skill cooldown depends on your character it's very very character dependent right so like on eo for example like cooldowns could be really really good uh cascade could be really really good um it really depends on your character so like here's a couple that are good like i'll just give you a, a quick rundown of like good stuff our cascade so this is like like basically the really really good ones that you want there are of course like some kind of off builds that you can go like stun but we're kind of focusing now on like the basic the basic build uh and you know we'll, we'll talk about supplementary damage later because that's kind of like a later thing right so cascade is really good what this does is every time you hit it lowers your cooldowns by a certain amount really really good on characters that attack really quickly uh quick cooldown is not as good as cascade but you would use this on characters that have a lower attack speed the less attacks per minute basically um other things you could get uplift is really good if you want to like ogi more really good on characters like yoda and uh you can also run like guts or auto revive if you're having a lot of trouble uh i think guts is better because guts doesn't actually have like the standing up animation but uh auto revival save you as well steady focus is really good uh if this is the if this is the one i'm thinking about yes this is really good if your character does charge attacks. So steady focus will prevent that. It'll prevent you from getting knocked out of that. Uh, I wouldn't really bother with provoke low profile right now or any of these. You can also run drain if you don't want to run potion hoarder. You can run drain if you're having trouble like keeping your stamina up. Like you're getting nicked a little bit here and there, but not like completely screwed. Um, you could also run run drain, but I, I I recommend potion hoarder. It's just it's just way better. Gives you more revives. So you're like, if you're having trouble, like you're less of a burden to your team. Uh, they don't have to walk over to revive you. You just do it yourself. Uh, combo booster is good on some characters that are, uh, that have a lot of, they have high attack speed. Link together is uh, kind of supportive. It's really, really good to support your team with this, but that's a kind of more advanced build. So I'm not going to go into that. And yeah, that's about it. So we'll go into like, kind of where do you progress from here? Some of the really, really good sigils, again, you can find them over here at Zaspa's appraisals and there this is kind of RNG like you're just gonna have to get lucky you appraise your curios maybe I'll get something good on during the tutorial but see how this one says V plus five plus so five plus gives you two skills instead of one they're just better so for instance now here you're gonna start advancing your items even more so say you get a crit rate plus that's just already gonna be better than just the raw crit because it's two stats. Now I have like critical rate, uh, critical hit rate here and stamina. So it's giving me two attack options, uh, two attack stats in one. So you're gonna want, this is like the holy grail right here is damage cap five plus because this is gonna make, because this will start replacing these items here. So you're gonna wanna um, get as many of those as possible uh, and then just start filling it in. So like, okay, damage cap, like damage cap, right you're just kind of gonna start adding your, these pluses which give you random stats so it's like oh there's potion hoarder so now i can remove this because i don't need it anymore right now i can add maybe like it would be nice to have a little bit of cooldown so now you can add that you can start adding like your cascades your improved guards improved dodges and that's how you kind of start your builds so you start with this baseline and you just start to add on as you get these because these are really hard right because first off you have to roll damage cap plus, which is already rare. 
And then you have to roll a good stat that actually helps your build. That is just going to be running prouds. Uh, Bahamut drops a lot of damage cap. Uh, Proto Bahamut uh, proud drops all that damage cap uh, plus. So getting that is uh, is is really good. Um, after that, you're going to want some some items from Zaspa, and that's going to be a couple I'm going to talk about right here. So these are the really good ones. I actually don't have one of them. What is it called again? War Elemental? I actually don't have it. Unfortunately. I don't have it. I've, I've rolled so many times and I don't have it. War Elemental. What War Elemental does is it always makes your attack strong on element. So say you're fighting Proto, -Baham Proto Bahamut, right? Which is weak to light. It will always make your attacks have advantage against the person, right? But here's the thing. If you're actually playing like a light character like Fairy or Eo, you don't actually need it. It's really good on the other characters that are not light type um, who get the bonus damage. Uh, that, that's that's War Elemental. And you can also get pluses on that as well. The other good one, which I do have, luckily, Mega Lucky, sometimes lucky. And these are also from Zaspa. Supplementary damage. So what is supplementary damage? In Grand Blue, we call them Echoes, and it's basically when you hit, you do another source of damage. So there's going to be two two damage numbers every time you hit if it procs supplementary damage. It's basically like, think of it as like a double strike, right? And that double strike deals um, damage that is not blocked by the cap. So you deal like, you know, your cap damage plus like an additional damage on top of it, which is why supplementary damage is very good. So you're going to want to get that. Uh, you're going to want to keep your eye out for those rare uh, curio curio ones like supplementary. And, and again, you can get these plus as well. I've never seen it. So so you, say you have your, your grid completely uh, finished or even not. You can actually start on this right away. You're just going to want to fight Proto Bahamut. Proto Bahamut will drop one of your Bahamut weapons, which are the end game. They're called Terminus weapons. I actually don't have Eos. I have uh, Galatine. And that has a thing called Catastrophe. Now, Catastrophe is a damage cap increase, but it also stacks with damage cap. So it actually doesn't solve your damage cap problems. It's just extra. You want to get your... Eventually, like endgame, you want to get your Bahamut weapon, and you want to just keep keep farming those Curios, keep farming uh, Sierra Cart and Proto Bahamut, other proud content, in order to get more of the uh, pluses, which is what you want. One more thing is that you can level up your sigils, which I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's two ways, and I'll give you the way I don't recommend first. So you can go over here to this guy over here, the blacksmith, and you go upgrade sigils. And you want to only do this to ones you're going to absolutely keep. But I did I did it for a couple of my damage cap ones. I had a damage cap quick cooldown, which is a good combo. So I, I actually leveled that up to 15. So one thing you can do, so let's say that like we're going to upgrade one. So upgrade sigil. You go to, let's just use like crit. Like let's say like this one, crit stand. That's not bad. So you're going to hit that and it's going to say, uh, you know, what items you need. Now this only gives you one level, right? Rainbow Prism 3, Flawless Prism 7, like all of this end game sh stuff. <laughs> all of this end game stuff gives you, I'm going to edit that out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all of this end game stuff gives you one level. I don't recommend this because it's going to take you like a million years unless you have a lot of materials to begin with. What you're going to want to do is press. See at the top, it says use Azerite Sp Splendor. This is actually like terrible, terrible like UI design. But at the top, it says use Azerite Splendor. You press that and it'll let you use an Azerite Splendor instead. And if you look, it makes it 11 to 15. So you all, you don't have to worry about it. Like you use one of these Azerite Splendor, 11 to 15. You get one from your trophies. But the way that you get these is by farming slimes. So we're going to go back to slimes. And slimes are just really, really good because they drop gold. Gold, they drop mastery points, and they drop, uh, as well as Damascus bars. So they're very good. Slime peed. This one right here. You're going to want to do this. And this one is going to drop that if there's a rare slime that's like a rainbow slime. And that one, if you see it, just kill it immediately. And it will always drop like a bunch of these. You, you, you get like, you get more than one, which you can use to upgrade your sigils. Yeah. It's way better because you can just kind of keep them there and then you can just upgrade whenever you feel like it. So um, that and then probably the final end game thing 
is to and you can actually do this like early is to make every weapon for the character that you want and level up to 150 and in order to level your your gear to 150 uh the best quest is feed two goblin warriors this drops a fuck ton of crystals. Sorry, a lot of crystals. God damn it. It drops a lot of crystals. YouTube is hard, man. And large crystals. And you need that to level up your weapons. And you might be asking, why do you level up all of your weapons? You're only using one. Right? Why, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you have so many weapons? And that, the reason why is because of this. These collection right here. See how I have all the weapons unlocked? You can put mastery points into these nodes. And they're always active. These are always active, even if you're not using the weapon. So these are just free stats, right? I mean, look at these. 300 HP, damage dealt to weak point, stun power. Uh, this one's really good over here. The uh, This one's crit. This is like your 5% crit rate, 5%, 15-30. Free crit. Munitions and, and bright stones. This is the very last thing. You already learned about this in, in the game. Basically, you have Mirage Munitions, which are drops from from end game content and mirage munitions just gives stats uh you don't have to worry about these too much because mirage munitions you can remove them from a weapon for free so it's just like free stats that you can allocate you, you can equip it to an item you can unequip it and equip it on another item so feel free to give your weapons plus 99 it, it you're not really losing anything now the imbue will use a uh we'll use a right stone which you can get from sierra cards gotcha and from drops and these right stones are uh extra stat skills so these are actually weapon skills that are going to be imbued as traits onto your weapon it's usually dependent on the first one so you can have up to three stats but it's always going to be like some combination around that oh wait there's missing a nine but yeah so you basically want the ones that have the top value is the highest so you have weak point damage which is it's okay it's not great um stun which is the dread right stone stun is situational and this is going to be if you're running like more of a support build and then over here you've got vitality which is the big one this is the one that you really want and you want 10 along with other stats that kind of help you out so again these traits are wasted if they're over the cap Right? So there's like a cap again, like for instance, uh, you know, crit caps at 45, right? So if you have over 45, you're just, you're just losing stats. So trying to find like a good combination of skills that works around your build is what's really important in a right stone. A lot of these low level, level right stones, like you start to go like, I actually probably don't even have any because I sold them like here. This one's only like two stats, like six and five. You can just sell these. You just sell them back to Sierra Cart because they're not really worth anything. Wait, really? You have a 10, 7, 5? Okay, so apparently chat says that it's 22. All right, it's 22 then. Sorry. 22 is the cap. I've never seen that, but that's crazy. Uh, a lot of people are confused about the this. Uh, special thanks to chat telling me about it. Um, Overmasteries are basically just free stats. So they, you... You will run, uh, you really, you could do it at level one. It's fine, but you really want to wait for level three and you just spend the points. It's 2000, um, mastery points, uh, to get the over mastery bonus. And it's just, so you get, uh, unlock over mastery level three at level 100 of your character. So these aren't really that important, like early, like, don't worry about like getting this until you're like a hundred. Then you run level three over mastery. It gives you four random stats. You can see the stars there for like how how far they are um what level they are in the rng and these stats the important thing about these stats is that they do not count towards weapon skills these are not weapon skills they're a completely different completely separate thing so um for instance right there i have stun power up plus four that doesn't mean the skill stun power up and this is a little confusing it's not the skill stun power up. It's just literally four points of stun power that gets added to your character. So it doesn't actually have anything to do. So you can actually go higher. Say you have like maxed out stun, um, stun mastery. I think that's, uh, 45, I think 45 level 45 stun mastery. This goes over that. Um, so what's really good here is you want, um, basically anything that says damage cap up 
that's high. You want that. Crit can be good too. Um, like anything that can like give you the stats that you need, obviously. But the, since they're random, you have to overwrite them in order to do another one. So like here, I'll do a roll right here. So you just hit it and it tells you like this is what you have. You have to be very careful here. Very careful. So you hit execute. And it will give you new ones. Skill damage cap up 16%. Attack power up 500. Stun power up 16. Okay. So I don't want this. So it says, do you want to replace this? You put no. Don't, don't mess this up. This, this will screw you up. Don't mess this up. Double check, triple check. Do you want, do you want to replace it? No. Hit no. Also, uh, one last thing. If you have your terminus weapon, you can actually, uh, you can actually unlock it with weapon awakening and you could level it up even more using, uh, using materials. And this will get you like a bunch of like more stats and some damage cap as well. So this is another thing that you can do. A lot of people really like this weapon, the ascension weapon. I actually don't recommend leveling it. It's just not as good. That's it. Every single terminus weapon, which is the drop from Bahamut, gives you this insane stat, catastrophe. 50 attack plus 50%, damage cap plus 100% when HP is at or below 4,500, which is ridiculous. And it gives you regen, which is like, honestly, trash that. But this is too good. This is too good to pass up. This is ridiculous. So don't waste your time leveling this weapon because it's, I mean, it's good. It is going to be marginally better when it's completely leveled, but you're going to waste all this time and resources on it. So you might as well just get the crit weapon because the crit weapon is already good. And it's going to get you like your early build faster by having all of that crit. So anyway, that's how you progress in Grand Blue Fantasy. We did this live on stream. I stream on twitch.tv slash leaflet. I play a lot of Grand Blue. See you later.